Wednesday, January 10th, 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. I'd like to thank Ken and Catherine for sharing this story with me from strangesounds.org. Water disappears from Belize's beaches after 7.6 earthquake hits east of Great Swan Island, Honduras. And if you're watching this video, you are well aware of the large earthquake that struck in the Caribbean Sea last night. The earthquake was situated right in here, and this is the location of the water disappearance in Belize. The thing is, how did this much water get displaced and it not create at least a significant high tide? And it didn't. A tsunami was measured at 1 inch and 6 inches, respectively. You can see some pictures here at uh, strangesounds.org and a couple of videos of the water that vanished and had people very puzzled, and they were probably expecting a tsunami that never came. The boat here, according to this dock, dropped about four feet. It's difficult to tell how far out it went. Um, probably varied. Looks like here that's a good hundred feet or so. It's hard to say. But it would be my guess that it happened in more places than just Belize. This is the only place that we're hearing about. But here's something that's very unusual. Um, the buoys, if this water, which obviously it did disappear, why didn't these buoys out here detect any type of disturbance whatsoever? That's a lot of water. Water is very heavy and very strong. There's a buoy, an active buoy here and here, both on opposite sides of this very powerful earthquake that detected absolutely nothing. However, one 1,000 miles away and one 1,500 miles away picked up quite a bit of energy. But I want to focus on these two right here. Because if all of that water, which we know for a fact, disappeared from the coast of Belize, this buoy out here would have detected something, right? Earthquake here, active buoy here, but not in event mode. It didn't detect any energy. Active buoy here, but not in event mode. It did not detect an earthquake, nor did it detect this large mass of water that disappeared from the coast and slowly came back. Let's take a look at it and see. Very unusual. Click on it. We're going to click on View Details. And what we want to look at is WVHT, this column right here, Wave Height. This is the latest reading at 6.10 p.m. Um, it's not showing anything significant, so to speak. 3.3, 3.3 seems to be the average, 3.0, all of these readings are from today. 3.0, 2.6, 2.6, 2.6 for quite a while. 3.0, this was last night at 10.50 p.m., 11.50 p.m., 2.6. This would have been after the earthquake, 2.6, 2.6, nothing. Pre-earthquake, 3.3, 3.9, 4.3, and then a 3.6, but nothing significant at all. These are wave heights right here, and you can see clear back to yesterday at 6.40 p.m. prior to the earthquake. Nothing unusual at all. Didn't even detect a disturbance. So now let's go to the earth, or the uh, buoy just south of the epicenter of the earthquake. Now this one was even closer to the powerful quake. And I showed you guys in the previous video how buoys are configured. They have monitors that are stationed on the seafloor. Let's view details and look at wave height. 3.9 just a few minutes ago, 4.3, 3.9, 4.3, 3.3, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 
It's directly, in fact, coincidentally, it's directly north in the same parallel as Belize, where the water just disappeared, but it was on a different day. It happened right here on January 3rd and January 4th. The person that took the picture owns this boat dock, and this is their backyard. This is their spectacular view. They've never seen it look like a sandbox. And in fact, the day before, this dark line they described in the email, the water was clear back to that dark line. When these boat docks were designed, they were not designed with any, anticip uh, any anticipation of water disappearing and leaving basically nothing but quicksand to set your boat in. It's like going on a ski trip and taking your skis, but the snow disappears every other hour while you're on the slopes. It just doesn't, doesn't work like that when the architects design these boat docks. They're actually extended farther than they have to be, so there's never a problem. What, what would happen if you're out in your boat with the family and you, you come back in? And it looks like this. You can't park your boat. Right now it's up in what's called dry dock, and that's normal during off-seasons to pick your boat up out of the water. The water should be up here, but you take your boat up out of the water, and that's called dry docking. But when it's sitting in the water, it's going to be up level to where that at least that dock is right there. So there's at least three to four feet gone from there, too. And especially if it was clear back to here, like the person said, then yeah, you're looking at, that's a significant amount probably four feet, just like you saw in Belize. So I don't know, you know, this is being seen now in many parts of Florida. Pine Island, Tampa Bay just drained less than a week ago. That was the same day, actually. Um, this did it on the 3rd and 4th in Pensacola. It was observed on the 3rd in Tampa Bay, quite possibly the 4th too. I'm not sure. Let's look at the details while we're here in um, the Gulf of Mexico. I never see buoys in active mode in the Gulf of Mexico. I think maybe once. Oh, look at that. Like some jagged form of energy. Look at that. Uh, boy, I don't know. It's very interesting. That's a strong jolt. Hmm. I don't know, very interesting guys. Big quake, water drains from the coast of Belize being reported here at strangesounds.org. I will post the link in the description box below. There are some videos, you can check it out. See the boat sitting there in the sand, probably four foot of water again missing. And Pensacola, Florida, water disappeared from there too. January 3rd and January 4th. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, be safe out there.